Hello, and welcome to another Dyson Sphere program video. Today we're going to be talking about the new logistics system that they just added into the game. I already have a video out on the logistics stations and interstellar logistics, but this is specifically covering the new stuff that they added with the late September 2022 update. What this will allow you to do is take stuff out of your inventory from your storage boxes and put stuff in storage boxes from your inventory, which is very exciting, very cool. But before you get into how they work, let's talk about how you get them. So they're unlocked with blue and red science around when you get the Mark II belts and Mark III sorters. And what you're going to unlock is the logistics distributor. And these are going to go on top of the boxes, your storage boxes, either type. And they will add whatever the contents of the box are to the logistics network. The things need to be carried by logistics bots. So you'll put the box in the distributors, uh, similar to how the planetary and interplanetary logistics systems work. We also have some additional upgrades. So we have distribution range. This is an entirely new upgrade. This will increase the range of the bots. They've also added logistics bots into the carrier engine, which will increase their flight speed and logistics capacity, which will increase their carrying capacity. So let's get into how they work. So under transportation, you're going to see the logistics distributor and they go on top of your storage boxes. They fit on either one. And if you have something in one box, you can direct your logistics bots, which you will need to put in the machine, to distribute to other distributors. So this is set to provide, similar to how the supply function works on the planetary and interplanetary stations. And then here, we want to set it to demand. And then that'll take the contents of this box into this box. Also similar to the planetary stations, you only need them bounce on one end but we put them on both. I usually put them on both, just in case. Okay, you can also set minimums and maximums, just as you do with anything else. Then those will lead into our supply chains. Now, if you want to take stuff out of a box and give it to Icarus, you have to set an inventory filter. So let's take this. You also have to make sure when you copy and paste, it does this unfortunate thing of copying whatever the filter is. So you just gotta make sure that there's only one item in the box, and then that if you press guess filter, or you can select it, but it's easier to just press guess filter. It'll set the filter filter correctly. So if I go over here, these are the filters that I have already set up. I wanna set up a new one to give me yellow belts. I click on the box, click on yellow belt, and then there's this slider here. You could either set it to do not provide, do not collect, that means nothing happens. If I increase the minimum, this will say if I'm in the range, it's going to make sure that I have at least 1050 if, you know, things are available. So I put in the bots, and it's going to start giving me the belts. This down arrow means that the, syst the logistics system is giving me stuff. So currently I have, you know, 600 in my inventory and the target is 1050, so we'll see if we can get there. Say we're upgrading from yellow belts to green belts, what we can do in this situation is say, go to green belts and say I want 1200 green belts and I no longer want yellow belts. So what we can do is we can set this to give me green belts, and then we can set this to take all of my yellow belts, put them in this box. And what's going to happen is the yellow belts are going to go back into this box and they're going to be recycled into green belts. And then if I put drones here, I'm going to get green belts. So that's a good way to kind of recycle your resources. So that's how this new logistics system works. Kind of works similar to the you know, other logistics system, the planetary and interplanetary stations, 
um, but has a little bit more flexibility so you can actually take items in and out of your inventory. This is a very exciting feature and I'm, I'm super happy that they finally added it. So thank you all for watching. I know I haven't posted in a while. I just haven't really had many great video ideas. So if you have any requests for things you'd like to know about this game or Satisfactory, leave them down below. Also, I do have a couple of other ideas for videos, but they will be very different. So uh, stick around for those and I hope you enjoy them. But anyway, that's all for me. Take care.